Hello everyone. The beautiful, beautiful Brownia macrophylla. What, 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 a, what a flower. Now the shrub itself is not looking that great. It's in a mostly shady location here in this garden and uh, it's more uh, spread out and scraggly, but I'm so glad I'm able to show a, a brownia. So a couple of uh, brownia plants I will show in this clip. The other one will be a uh, brownia grandiceps. I think this is much more a dramatic flower. I think uh, the stamens are uh, coming out nicely on this uh, fully mature inflorescence. It's very pretty. The leaves of uh, macrophylla, the dark uh, green texture probably indicating that it would like a little bit more sun here. I will show the uh, grandiceps also. <laughs> wow, such a, such a beautiful flower. This is the uh, brownia grandiceps, a brickish uh, red or a brickish orange, uh, large inflorescence, really heavy inflorescence pendulous and uh, large enough that it fills up my entire palm. The few more buds in there are still to open. The stamens are still in here. They do not protrude like the uh, macrophylla giving it the dramatic look. Such a beautiful flower. It's not fragrant. This uh, tree is about uh, 12 to uh, 15 feet tall and uh, is in part shade. And this is the uh, entire extent of the tree. I'll take it backwards. That's the entire extent of the tree. And the leaves that are droopy can be seen over here. I will show the uh, nascent leaves of the uh, brownia. The typical uh, nascent leaves of the uh, brownia species, they come out as these uh, really hanging bunches of uh, inflorescence or seed pods, but they're really um, nascent or uh, fresh leaves. The um, handkerchief look of these leaves is very typical. They start as a light uh, reddish in color and uh, become lighter green and later on the darker green leaves that is very typical such a beautiful uh, bunches of leaves thank you for watching